Thank you very much, Ann. Well, continuing now with the, the uh, theme of, of large vehicles uh, and their interactions with, with bikes, we're going to invite uh, Dave Kearney, who is the Director of Bus Operations at the MBTA, and also James O'Brien, who is the President of the Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, City governments, uh, cities that have thank you very much large, uh, uh, cycling populations. A little unusual uh, festival for some here from, 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 from the city of Cambridge. Cambridge. Uh, uh, the MBTA is the transportation manager, and, 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 and Joe Barr is the director of traffic, parking, and transportation. I just want to talk a little bit about kind of what we do what we're trying to do is we reduce the number of accidents on the bus. So on a typical weekday, MBTA buses carry about 300,000 people, and we operate about 14,300 trips. Over the course of the year, we operate about 14,300 trips. Our goal is to have zero accidents in high schools. But in 2015, we had 20 such you know, obviously, so we're very proud of that's the something we want to get down to zero in the main part of Cambridge, a bicycle friendly community. What we see as the most successful approach uh, that we've done, but you know, it's a constant, constant battle, is to train our bicycle game. But I think we one thing know is that very we're out there on the road, there's a lot of things that come up in context, and whether it's a pothole or the right policy to back it up, doors open, things like that. So we see training our operators about sure why they're doing there this. It's not just one of the most day important day things we decided we wanted to make. We also like continue to look at computer to design and technology too. We have, and we have really seen a lot of things with our zoning ordinance. We do like some of the new cycle track designs. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that. City. So I think it's very important. Um, that we in terms of training, in 2010, we established a training program for all bus operators. To ensure that they drive right. defensively. The other really system. important point is the collaboration. At that time, we partnered with Local 589. Uh, you know, and we also like worked with a number of bicycle like official groups. Very importantly, ultimately, we worked with Mass Bike and David Lawson and the Public Works Department. He's famous to all of our drivers. And I represent um, we and created anyone else. 10 minute, 11 minute video with David. He's really been showing every word what we do. The last six years, we've been showing that video all of our operators. Uh, the training program that we have is conducted in several ways. Number one, it's part of our new operator training program. So this is just a so very every new operator that comes in is trained. We train maybe uh, 120 to 150 new bus drivers. So we've been doing a lot of things over the past 25 years, but a lot of the it's also part of our recertification program. So that drivers who haven't come in the last five years. They are brought in and they go through a training program. The other in terms we of also have a more uh, intensive course that's given to any bus driver who's had a complaint against them or an accident really involved, involving the bus. Whether or not the, 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 uh, we find really merit to the complaint or anything else, that, the fact that there's a complaint that one of our bus drivers have, uh, didn't behave properly in the bus to bring them in for some training. It's simple and easy to do. To uh, that more intensive, intensive course involves a number of different things. The There's an in-class review of, of the operator's accidents, um, their history of accidents, so with the problems and terms of things we might be able to teach them to do a little bit differently. There's classroom instruction on special origin training bulletins that are specific to bicycles. So those are sort of our uh, standard operating procedures. Um, making sure that those uh, these operators are very well aware of what our expectations are. So it's a mode show the mass bike video. We also have a training simulator that um, Bill Cameron, who's an instructor for us, in the back of the room, and he's developed eight different common scenarios so that we can put the operators in a very safe, low-risk environment and then test them on what their reactions are to different kinds of things, what they're watching, where the mirrors are, that kind of thing. Um, and that's all eight different scenarios have to do with bicycles. And then we also do an on-the-road evaluation of the instruction so that they're taken out with an instructor where the instructor can observe how they're interacting with bicyclists and make sure that they understand what things they might do right, what they do wrong, things like that. We think training is a good start to get down to zero accidents and that is definitely a In addition, we're working with uh, the manufacturers of a bicycle and pedestrian collision avoidance system for large commercial vehicles. 
Um, we've tested that a couple different times. So we'll see it lacking, but it's something that ultimately would be great to have a warning for a bus driver that there's a pedestrian or a bicyclist that's about to enter a very dangerous zone around the bus. We're also reviewing the locations where bike accidents happen to determine if there's anything we can do to make adjustments. And we've also been working with MassDOT in the city of Boston on the ComEd project with the cycle track. Our interest there is mainly to protect our customers from collisions with bicyclists as they go around the bus. But we also want to do so without slowing down. It's really critical to know how many people are out there as well as the on this issue of safety, um, David is right. Um, the Commons Union and the MBTA have partnered, and we think that safety is the first, first and most, um, first and most, that safety is the first priority at the MBTA and the Commons Union. Um, I drove a bus for, for 15 years. Um, I can tell you firsthand that the training that the operators go through it's a minimum of eight weeks defensive tra tra driving training where you are taught uh, about um, safety distances, hazards, keeping your distance on the, on the right, front, left. And it's important because when you're driving that bus and you're out there and you're identifying hazards on the road, whether it's a crosswalk or it's a pedestrian, whether it's a bicyclist, you're constantly scanning your mirrors back and forth looking, looking for hazards, all right? You're trained to expect the unexpected. And that's, that's, it's, it's the training is, is vital to the, uh, to the employee. Um, there are a lot of times where if you're a bicyclist, you think that maybe the operator intentionally cut you off, right? You're thinking, you know, you guys are, are driving down on the right and you have the uh, the bike lanes now. And a lot of bicyclists don't uh, drive in those lanes because they're afraid someone's going to open a car door. And so they're, they're a little bit swerving, swerving left and right. But, you know, when you pull up to a bus stop and there's a car in the bus stop blocking the bus stop, the operator is taught to pull that bus it's close, like 12 inches from the parked car so that you can't squeeze through and come up hit someone coming out of the, uh, the front door or, or, have, or make contact with the bus itself. So there's a lot of defensive driving techniques that go, that go into driving. They're always taught to pull into the curb, 12 inches from the curb. Look before they pull out. You know, um, it's, hard to, it's hard to see a bike. It really is. Uh, the mirrors, the blind spots, and uh, you know, passing on the left, passing on the right, there's no real strict rule for a bicycle to how to drive down the street. You know, there is for a bus. And the bus driver is, is really scanning his mirrors, looking for hazards, and making eye contact with you. I think that's important that you guys should make eye contact. And, um, you know, um, like David said, we do over 4 million trips a year. And we only had 20 accidents. And our goal is to reduce it to zero accidents. And through safety and training, we hope to get there. Thank you.